Okay, very good evening uh, and welcome to yet another lecture on tensor calculus. My name is Shonak and wishing you all the best. I hope you're keeping in good health otherwise. So uh, what I will do is that I will try to keep this today's lecture uh, very precise and right to the point. So uh, the basic agenda is that how to learn tensor calculus and what are the essential books uh, that you really need to know in order to learn tensor calculus. So I would straight away start with uh, what is in terms of uh, books, etc. So uh, let us first see that when we are learning tensor calculus, what is the type of mathematics that you should know? I mean to say, what is the essential prerequisites before you learn tensors? Now, one thing is very certain that when you're starting to learn tensor calculus, first thing is that you need to have a very good understanding of vector calculus. Although I have not shown this in this part of the lesson, but definitely uh, vectors should be very clear. And I can tell you this much that when you start doing tensor calculus, you will get a, uh, I would say a peace of mind. I mean to say, when you move ahead from vectors and then you move into tensors, then possibly you understand that what are the limitations and what are the essential areas that vectors actually lag into. And then you can start with the, uh, tensors. So I have divided this into two parts. One is called the physics part. Another is the mathematics part. Now, why physics and mathematics? Because I would consider that maybe some of you wants to know uh, tensors, keeping in mind that you want to learn the physics part. That means the application of tensors in physics in, say, for example, uh, I would say general relativity or differential geometry, etc. Another few students might be there who wants to learn it as a pure mathematics. For example, those who wants to learn tensile calculus as into pure mathematics, so you can also go into that. So if you learn, if you're willing to learn physics, then what are the things that you need to know apart from linear algebra, multilinear, multivariable calculus, obviously vectors and vector calculus, which is the first thing. And also, I would request you to learn a little bit about curl, divergence, gradient, and what is a Laplacian. And then also go a little bit into non-Euclidean geometry, which would definitely cover differential geometry. And if you're going to purely into mathematics, then you should learn linear algebra, multivariable calculus, measure theory, which is again very important, differential geometry, and some part of topology. Considering into the uh, part is that you need uh, uh you know tensors to go into uh requesting to make a video in hindi i am understanding english but a long time uh continuously concentrate is not possible okay ajaya to be very honest with you i cannot speak hindi very well i can read hindi i can write hindi i can read urdu i can uh, um, I, I can write urdu arabic but i am not very good in speaking hindi because if I speak, I really don't know what would be the terms like linear algebra, differential geometry, tensors, all those things. I really have no idea. I have been throughout educated in an English medium school. So and all my correspondences still now both national and international are in uh, English. So I'm very sorry. I won't be able to speak all those technical terms in Hindi. So I won't be able to help you. Okay, so if you're really willing to learn linear algebra, uh, what I would request you is that you can go back to my playlist on linear algebra. I've already uh, have a quite a good amount of uh, uh, videos on linear algebra, but this linear algebra is primarily onto the area of what I called uh, uh, for quantum um, mechanics. But anyway, you can I will show you what are the books that are uh, in, in, in the area of linear algebra. Also, there is a lot of mathematics in linear algebra, which is covered in quantum mechanics. So you can go ahead with that. If you're willing to learn, yes, Rudra Si, Namaskar. Uh, if you're willing to learn uh, the books of linear algebra, one, two, three, four, these are very good books. I mean to say uh, one of the best books of linear algebra. First, obviously, Gilbert Stang's book, which is good for, uh, I would say, students because it covers up the mathematics from the students level. I've got a lot of, I would say, exercises. Then if you want to go a little bit advanced, you can definitely go for the extreme right-hand side book, which is the Sir Glang's Introduction to Linear Algebra. Uh, this George Love's books is also very good and Linear Algebra Done Right, Sheldon Alder. I remember one of my subscribers, Will you give some lessons on measure theory? 
uh, really, that is a wonderful, uh, I would say, a proposition, uh, Nicholas. Uh, I have not yet planned, but yes, why not? In the next year, which is just knocking at the door, three, four days, six days left. So definitely, we, I can plan on something on measure theory. It's a very good, wonderful subject, so we can go through that. Okay, and uh, what, just a note of caution is that linear algebra done right is definitely not a book for, meant for beginners. I remember one of my subscribers talking to me over WhatsApp and email that I have just started the book with linear algebra done right, this book, but I'm finding it difficult. Obviously, he's finding it difficult because this is meant not meant for uh, beginners. So the first book and the third book, will be a good starting point for linear algebra, but the second and the fourth book would be meant for advanced people. So this is a list of vectors and tensors. These are uh, quite old, I think two years old video, but it is quite good because during that time, I didn't have any idea about making videos over computer. So I used to uh, write it on a pen and paper on sketch pens, etc. But these are old videos, but they are good amounts so that you can look, have a look onto this list of vectors and tensors. However, uh, what I have planned is that a very systematic lecture on vectors and tensors coming up from 2024. Uh, if you really want to know differential geometry, here is lesson number 13, which I would recommend you to go for, because this uh, lesson would give you a thorough understanding about the best books on differential geometry. That means, say, for example, if I consider that you are starting to learn uh, I would say differential geometry taking into account that you will learn tensor calculus. Then first you need to do what is the book to read, what are the essential areas to study, etc. So go to lesson number 13 in my playlist in differential geometry. You will find how to study, what is to read. It's a very detailed video on the books that you would select and this would give you an idea of differential geometry because uh, in some of the books of differential geometry, I mean to say most of the books, you will find tensor calculus. So you might now have a question, where would I start? Mathematical physics, differential geometry, or shall I pick up a book purely on tensor calculus? So if you're wondering on that, then this uh, video will give you a clarity that how to start learning differential geometry. So as I told, mathematical prerequisites would be definitely vector calculus, curl and divergence, gradient Laplacian, and multilinear algebra. Okay, so what is the book that I should read? I would directly go to this book, which is Daniel Fleisch books on vectors and tensors. I have uh, talked on many of my videos of this book, but today I would like to give you a different kind of an idea of this book. First, let me show you what is the content of the book, then I will make a note of caution. So here you see that if I talk of uh, this book, which is uh, Daniel Fleisch vectors and tensors, then you can see that this book, the first content actually is starting from vectors. Okay. It gives you an idea of what is a vector, vector component. It's very systematic. I mean to say uh, absolute non big, uh, I mean to say absolute beginner with no idea on uh, uh, tensors, they can start. Then it goes with vector operation, scalar product, cross product, step by step, step by step. It explains also the gradient divergence, curl and Laplacian. That is very important because in many cases, this uh, four areas, gradient, divergence, curl, and Laplacian would use tensor calculus. So it is very important for all of you to know this concept. How will you know? This book will give you an idea. Then when you have learned vectors, you will see it gives an idea of vector applications. <laughs> vector applications in the sense, where do you apply the knowledge of vectors? So you can see all those things are given. Uh, I mean to say mass on an inclined plane, curvilinear space, all those things. You can see the last two, three lines, it actually speaks about the vector application. Then this book goes into covariant and contravariant components. It further explains about non-orthogonal system, high rank tensors, tensor addition, multiplication, what is a matrix tensor, and it also speaks about tensor applications. So in my opinion, this is one of the best self-complete book, easy introduction to tensors. It offers a clear explanation. I mean to say nothing is left unsaid. A great introduction for anyone who needs to understand tensors. The book first focuses on the basics of vectors and uses of vectors. And slowly and slowly, slowly it builds onto that. But here is something which I would like to tell you. If you're really willing to learn tensors seriously, then there are two things which is missing in the book. Now, you might say that uh, at each point of time, Shaunak, you criticize on the book. No, I'm not criticizing on the books. 
सर मैं बोल रहा हूँ हम जैसे बात करते हैं वैसे बोलिया हिंदी में और टेक्निकल टर्म्स इंग्लिश में बोले एज आई टोल्ड यू अजय आई एम नॉट दैट गुड इन हिंदी आई कैन नॉट स्पीक हिंदी आई कैन रीड एंड राइट इन हिंदी बट आई वोट बी एबल टू टॉक मच इन हिंदी so the concept is that each and every time you might say that i am criticizing but each and every book i have read very deep in a detail where i am trying to give you an honest opinion so it is not that there is one single book which is absolutely perfect and you go through but the basic essence is that you have to consider two three books together and then you have to understand now the first thing is that this book has got a notation problem the notation problem is a single dot a circle now you see when we put a single dot which is a little bit deep i mean to say not a circle i mean to say one dot then it becomes as a dot product okay say a dot b that means a dot b that is a dot product okay this book when it goes into metric tensor it also puts a dot dot product this vector and this vector there is a dot product but instead of that circle which has got a black point inside okay it puts us just a circle now when i put a just a circle it becomes something which is called uh, a complex numbers i mean to say uh, it is not coming to my mind Com uh, complex variables or complex multiplication it can come sorry uh, compound compound multiplication so there is also a circle i mean it's a, not a dot but actually daniel flash in that book wanted to mention that it is a dot product okay i mean to say let me show you uh, what i am trying to uh, mean so if you are going through this book which is definitely a wonderful book you should be clear about this okay okay let me share my screen so that i can uh, you know share with you what i am trying to tell okay i hope my screen is visible okay now here you see uh, let me take any example say for example uh, okay let me take this example okay here you can see that this is a dot product okay let me um, you know copy this one uh, just a second copy image and if i put it in here in the that is my paint brush okay so let me now share my screen a little bit so that you can understand stop screen uh, share screen window okay i would share this one okay now you can see this one right so this is actually what i'm trying to show you i'm trying to show you that it is given this one okay but in case if i write a with a this circle b it doesn't mean the dot product this is also not a dot dot product it should be this kind of a thing so this is something which is missing in that book and please be aware about that part okay so what i am trying to tell you is that this uh, uh, sorry i just uh, share screen and this one uh, i mean to say this part okay let me again share my screen here so this is what i am trying to tell you yeah good evening assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam uh so this part should be clear it is not that uh, it should be this dot it should be actually this one this one is okay when you put a kind of a, a point but this is this is called a complex function when you are mentioning a complex function this is what it is this is called a complex function so it has more in the entire book it is always a with a round with b but actually it should be this one right this dot so please be aware about that don't get confused so this book has got this problem sir can i get link to google drive or books okay you can contact me uh, i don't know your name it is village life in pakistan so <laughs> you can contact me i will definitely try to help you on this so uh, this is a kind of a notational problem which persist in this book that is one part secondly also you will see when you go through the sequence of this book this book is not a very good book on tensors because it mostly speaks about vectors and just giving one or two rules about uh, tensors it directly jumps into covariant contravariant components of tensors 
So that is something a little bit difficult. So although the book is definitely a Bible, I've taken many examples in my videos and I would truly recommend you to go for this book. But this book, I would say, carries that kind of a problem. One is this dot problem. And second one is that it directly jumps into the tensor part without taking much of an understanding. So please be aware of that book. The next book which I would like to talk about is this one, G.E. Hay, Vector and Tensor Analysis. Definitely it's a very good book. As you can see, uh, it also covers a lot of concepts of differential geometry. So as I have told you, and then this uh, for subsequent chapters are also quite detailed. But only the thing is that in, in this kind of a book, Muhammad Shoaib, so best books of tensor. Okay. Muhammad, you can get in touch with me later. I will try to find out those books because I will try to give you the link. Please download that. I don't want to send those books because that falls under the piracy rule. So if I, I would I would definitely send you the links of the book in email or whatsoever. You can go ahead and down, download. So the good part is that it is an excellent introduction uh, for, um, level for undergraduate. Highly recommended for somehow who is interested in undergrad study. And uh, the brief treatment of this Serret formula, for formula uh, also gives you a very detailed idea. The good part is that this book also contains a lot of illustrations, etc. Definitely, sir. this book, I would say, compared to Vectors and Tensors of Daniel Fleisch, it is a little bit, I won't say difficult, but it goes into the mathematics. But it's a very good book for tensors because it de deals much with tensors rather than vectors. So this book, this one, this book, Daniel Fleisch book, will be someone who is already struggling with vectors and have got no idea about vectors. Now for them, this book is good because it does not deal much with tensors. It deals mostly with vectors. But this book would be primarily for those who wants to deal with vectors. Okay. So next thing would be this one, that is Borisenko and Tarapov. This is an old book. Uh, these are two Russian, uh, you know, mathematicians who have written it. This is also good. This is, contains a very exhaustive details about the chapters. As you can see, it starts with vector algebra. It's a thick book, right? It contains a lot of pages, so it's a good one. And most importantly, you, can, you cannot see, I understand it is very small, but it also contains about vector transformation. If you have attended to my previous lectures on uh, when we started with tensors, and I'm going to start with that again, it contains a lot of transformation, scaling, rotation, etc. So this book will also contain a lot of, uh, you know, vectors, basis, transformation, product of two vectors, product of three vectors. Uh, then it goes into tensor concept, zero, first order, second order. It's an absolutely wonderful book. I mean to say uh, there is no alternative to this book. This is absolutely great. Okay. Then you can see the next one. It contains tensor analysis. Okay. Addition of tensors, vectors and tensor analysis ramifications uh, it's a it's a very good book on that and here i wanted to show you that uh, the vector and tensor analysis of both gea and daniel fleisch does not contain any illustrations drawings so if there are not much of drawing it becomes very difficult for any beginner or even expert level to actually visualize what it is this is the type of illustrations and it goes so it is an excellent book if you want to have clear ideas it is written in a very focused style, etc. Uh, why? What do you think of, uh, of Friedberg in Cell Spence? No, I have not read this book, Karan. I won't be able to tell you much on that. Okay, I've not read this book. So the sections uh, it devotes to integral theorems, etc. So definitely, it would be a very book good on tensor analysis. Okay, Taha Sochi's book actually has got a mixed reaction. I mean to say. When I went through the book, which is a soft copy of the book, I don't have the hard copy. I did not find the diagrams very good. I mean to say one page contains a diagram, which is very, you know, distorted one. So it is, I, I did not find this to be a very good book, although it contains a lot of uh, uh, stuffs, which includes the uh, coordinate spaces. Maybe if uh, you can buy the book for uh, a hard copy, I think that would be better. Okay, this is a very good book which I have read and I would highly recommend to all of you, Tensor Calculus for Physics. Now, this is a book which will actually give you an idea that how Tensor Calculus is basically applied to the branch of physics. Okay, so this would be uh, why are 
why are not tensors defined the way they are then the euclidean gradient euclidean vector operations uh, two index tensors i, I I have covered a lot of things, electromagnetic stress tensor, transformation of the tensor. So as you can see, this book is primarily concerned for the physics part. So once you understand the tensors, as I told you earlier, that if you want to go into physics, then this would be the ideal book. You can see here uh, derivation of tensors, curls, divergences, what is curvature, etc. So this is a very good book if you're willing to learn the uh, physics part. Okay, so my recommendation would be it is an excellent book uh, as lucid as Daniel Fleisch's book and it is meant basically for physics. Almost all the concepts of physics, etc. are being concerned uh, in terms of understanding. So this would be a very good book for those who wants to understand the physics part. Okay, this would be an ideal book and I would highly recommend uh, Prasun Kumar Nayak's Tensor Calculus for Differ and Differential Geometry. The good part of the book is that it goes directly in the mathematical expositions. It deals both with tensor calculus and differential geometry. And as you will see now, when I will show you the content, you will see this book's essentially, uh, actually what I would say, it will teach more of general theory of relativity. So you will learn tensor calculus, you will learn differential geometry, and you will learn general theory of relativity also. So here you can see the very detailed content of Prasun Kumar Nayak's book. So you can see here that it starts basically with the tensor part, then it goes into tensor notations, etc. Then, then it goes directly into Riemannian metric, Christoffel symbols, Riemannian geometry, and these are all which are related to general theory of relativity. So you will be learning uh, uh, a lot of general relativity, you will learn a lot of differential geometry, also you will learn the tensor calculus. And, you know, intrinsic geometry, classical mechanics, even relativistic mechanics is also being covered. So I would say this is an absolutely great book to start with tensor calculus. I think this is the first book we should start learning. There's also another book, this one, Robert C. Words, Introduction to Vector and Tensor Analysis. This is also a nice book I would recommend, uh, which concerns a kind of an historical summary and it contains the other explanations also and uh, partial differential equations it is a little bit mathematical obviously in nature and it uh, is an excellent book for anyone who is interested explanations are rigorous and clear the exercises are well thought and it required a, a little bit of critical thinking the best element of this book is that applications in physics are utilized in almost each and every chapter so when you learn this part of tensor, then you apply to physics. You learn this part of tensor and you apply to physics. So these are some of the books. So if you talk to me, if you ask me what would be the first book. So for beginners, it would be Daniel Fleisch, Vectors and Tensors, who have got no idea about tensors and even starting with vectors, that is the ideal. Those who already know vector and tensors start with Prasun Kumar Nayak's book and Robert Seward's book and uh, Tarakov's books, etc. Uh, A.G. McConnell. Uh, what are you saying? Is it the name of a book or what? So any questions you have regarding today's session, uh, you can ask me. I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. May this Christmas and the Santa brings you all with lot and lot of surprises and gifts. Oh, okay. It is the publisher. Okay, fine. And lot of gifts and lot of surprises. I don't think I would be coming to the class tomorrow because I will uh, like to take out my family. Any recommendation on abstract algebra? Okay, uh, abstract algebra. Okay, wait, I will just tell you the name of the book, Karan. Just be there. I will tell you the name of the book because I would be out together with my family tomorrow. So the family also requires some time. So I think that, okay, abstract algebra, you can start with this book. Uh, wait, there are many books. Uh, introduction to Abstract Algebra. Which one to give? Uh, contemporary Abstract Algebra. I think that you can start with this book. Abstract Algebra First Course by Dan. Sa okay, let me share my screen so that I can... Uh, 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 show you the name of the book. 
Okay. Uh, okay. This would be the name of the book. You can start with this. This is a very good book on abstract algebra. Okay. And I can show you the content part also if you can want to see. Uh, you see here, it starts with sets and introduction, even the binary operation, groups, etc., are also given. It's a good book. Then it comes the fundamental theorems, groups, subgroup, direct products, functions, which is quite a big fat book and almost around 307 pages. So yes, this would be a very good book for you to start. Okay, this would be something on abstract algebra. So I think that the next year I would be more structured and you will get a complete plan of when and where and how the classes are being uh, held. So what I will do is that I will have classes on general relativity. I will have classes on uh, tensor calculus, there will be classes on real analysis, there will be classes on complex uh, numbers, I mean it's a complex analysis and also there will be classes both on differential geometry and tensor calculus and one day a general interaction with you all, questions, what do you find, any question regarding the classes etc. I don't know whether I will be able to make PDF files because these will be all online classes so Monday, general relativity, Tuesday, tensor calculus, Wednesday, complex analysis, Thursday, real analysis, Friday, maybe a rest day, Saturday, question answer, and Sunday, back to general relativity. So I will be concentrating 2024 on building more on the mathematics, and I will take live classes where a complete syllabus and a course will be uh, uh, taken care of. In the meantime, also from time to time, I will uh, keep on posting videos like I have done with topology. So I'm also planning one day on topology. So uh, you mean to say six days, six subjects on physics and mathematics. This much I can tell you. It will be both mathematics and physics in a rotational way. And you can also put your recommendation. If it is feasible for me, I can definitely take up a class. But it will be more live classes. It will be more interactive classes. Because videos just give you a video. There is no chance to talk. And when you will put up a comment, if I am free from my college work, I will reply. I also feel that I am not giving proper attention to my students and subscribers. So let it be a live class. Let it be a 30 minutes class every day on specific topics of gravitation, physics, special theory of relativity, general relativity, tensor calculus, and so on. So what will happen that those who are willing to learn physics they can also come to my classes, those who want to understand mathematics, they can come to classes and some day and others, okay, you will have real analysis paper, great. And some one day or other, we will engage into general discussion, maybe about the life of uh, some uh, mathematicians or in general discussion, some good, uh, you know, productive discussions, etc. Don't forget that on the 30th of this month, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Ruben Marion is coming for a live podcast on machine learning, artificial intelligence, and um, data science. And on 31st, which is the last date and the day of this year, on 8 o'clock Indian Standard Time, I am conducting a free webinar on Einstein's general relativity. For, with that, I will be issuing you a free participation certificate, which will contain your name, my institute's, I mean to say my uh, channels logo, logo and the name of the uh, webinar. So those who are willing to participate, please do quickly send me an email and on 31st we will start at 8 o'clock. It will be a very intensive webinar. If you want to take notes, etc., you can do that. So thank you very much. Again, wishing you all a Merry Christmas. I'm not wishing you a Happy New Year because we will meet uh, before that, obviously on 30th and 31st. And uh, we will make 2024 much better. This year, I mean to say, it was good. Uh, if I go back to this year, there was a lot of videos on general relativity, differential geometry. Many people engaged. Yeah, uh, Merry Christmas from Ottawa and Merry Christmas from India also. Yeah, thank you, Karan. Merry Christmas to you. This year was good. This year was much productive. Most importantly, Physics for Students uh, is now registered under the government of India micro, small, and medium range industries. So uh, that is a very big achievement, which I consider. I, uh, My wife, uh, who is, uh, she is also a scholar in uh, logic and philosophy, is now a director. So 
uh, is a bit tricky. It's theorem. Yeah, don't worry. We will deal with real analysis. Show him. Uh, show him. We will deal with that. No, no problem. So this has been registered. This was. This is a very big achievement because uh, I don't want to compare. But yes, physics for students is now under the government of India. Uh, also, the podcast started this year. So a seven eight podcast took place. That is also you all enjoyed, and it is because of you I constantly started bringing new personalities, etc. Which I would, uh, with your cooperation, I will still try to uh, go forward. And if you do have somebody, some mathematician, some scientist, some uh, good personality who is you are in touch, please let me know. I would also like to approach that person. Tell about me. Tell about this channel. And if he or she is willing to come down for a live podcast. It is an open offer which I'm declaring right now. Please give my contact details. Please allow me to talk to him or her. I will bring that person on a podcast. Do mention that there are no financials. I cannot pay any money, but definitely it will be a good interview where we will talk about an hour. So anyway, Karan or Shoaib or anybody, any part of the world who is in touch with any mathematician, but should be a qualified person, good speaker, a good person to interact, should not get angry that why I'm asking this question. Please do let me know, uh, distribute my name and number and do let me know personally over my email. Then I can bring that person on a podcast. It would be good because we all want to learn from those great people. So that's all. This year has been good for me. This year has been uh, kind of a mileage for physics for students. It got registered. It got podcast. And now this. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Shoaib. And now this uh, term, I mean, just say this registration under the government of India would take things forward, more things to come, more challenges to face, more sleepless nights for me, more mathematics, etc. But I can promise you that physics for students and me, Shonak, I won't disappoint you. You will get a proper, clear understanding of physics and mathematics through live classes almost every day, starting from January onwards. Thank you very much. And wishing you again a Merry Christmas. Uh, I will be back Lee, on uh, today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And we will carry on with the uh, podcast on 30th and with my webinar on 31st. Thank you very much and wishing you all the best. Goodbye. Take care.